Hey, what are you guys doing in there? My wife just left for work, so that gives us a few hours to go do something. Now, one of the things you need to learn to do as an empty nester is go out there and try new things. Break out of your comfort zone. Stop doing your regular routine. So today, if you guys will indulge me, I'd like you to come hang out with me here in Los Angeles. Let's go do some fun things. Come on, let's go. Oh, I almost forgot you guys. Here we go. Let's take you. Fun things to do in it's Los Angeles day. today. It's a good day! Oh, I think there's a Basquiat exhibit yeah. here today, guys. Do you guys know Jean-Michel Basquiat? Well, the one thing you gotta learn to deal with here in Los Angeles is traffic. First stop, Grand Central Market. Hey guys, we are here. We are at Grand Central Market here in downtown Los Angeles. This is one of the coolest places that you could eat. This market has been here since 1917. And originally this was called the Wonder Market. And it was called the Wonder Market because it was the largest market on the Pacific coast. This has a bunch of really cool, interesting food shops. A lot of them have their own restaurants here in Los Angeles. And uh, I'm gonna see what I can get into. It is 8 a.m. in the morning, so they just opened. So I don't exactly know what's open, but, um, Let's check it out. Look out, I'm coming through like a wrecking ball going through the room. I break out. You know, guys, what I absolutely love about the Grand Central Market is the amount of diversity that they have here in the food. I came here ready to go. Living la vida loco. You have Asian, you have Armenian, you have Mexican, you have Filipino, you have every different kind of food here. And it totally represents Los Angeles because here in Los Angeles, we have every culture. We are a melting pot of different cultures all in one big city. Beautiful, thank you. So guys, at my age, I have to eat better than most people. So got a arugula salad and a sausage egg sandwich. <laughs> Stupid doctor said I was fat. Can you believe that, idiot? Well, Peter, you are on the large side. Oh, please, Brian. If I was fat, could I do this with a hula hoop? Am I going to die? So who was Jean-Michel Basquiat? Well, he was an artist. He was originally a tagger in New York. He was a graffiti artist. His mother, although mentally ill, continued to encourage Basquiat to draw and create art. After Basquiat's mother was committed to an institution, he decided to leave home at the age of 15. And that's where he actually became homeless. Before he left school, him and his friend Al Diaz started a graffiti campaign called Samo, as in same old Samo. And eventually, he sold a postcard that he had made to a very famous person named Andy Warhol. Now Andy Warhol saw great potential in his artwork and that's when his career took off. He went from being homeless to selling his first painting for $25,000. In the 70s, rap and punk music and neo-expressionism became a big deal. And currently, I think he holds the record for the highest selling American piece of art at $110 million for an untitled piece. Much of his work addressed his struggle with personal anxiety and depression. So you can see a lot of that in some of his portraits. I go where I want a fair warning for anybody with hair on them. You can't stop me and get sloppy to bear on them. They try to put me mad looking in tears on a mishpot. Yeah, so incredible. I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, 
I'm not really an art guy, but I'm trying to guys, I'm trying to get out there and trying to get out there and do different things. And he was expressing how he was feeling through his art. You know, everything from the painting about cowboys and Indians to the black police officers beating the black man. What was also interesting to see is during that time in the 70s and 80s, how much of a party scene New York was. And he would party with Andy Warhol and um, Grace Jones. He dated Madonna. You gotta say the guy lived a full life in his 27 years. He really did live it up while he was here. the entire time I was down here, all I kept thinking was, it might have been fun to do this with Jonah. Guys, if you are in this transitional part of your life, I encourage you to get out there and embrace the change and try new things. I hope you come by again and I will see you in the next video.